Hello friends. I got to have breakfast this morning with a good friend and it was wonderful to catch up and to watch what the Bible calls the iron sharpening iron taking place. There's so much joy and encouragement and growth that happens when we're in community with fellow believers like that. If you don't have that kind of community, I, I encourage you to find it. Now, as we were talking, our conversation turned to some of the doctrines and beliefs and practices that have crept into the Christian church globally and have found far too comfortable a home in the Christian church. And this video is not the time or the place to dig into uh, what some of those doctrines are, why I think they're false and why they're dangerous uh, and, and what the response of the church should be. My, my thought for today is more something that dawned on me as he and I were talking about some of these various doctrines and beliefs and practices. I realized that the undergirding issue with all of them is it keeps our focus on ourselves and not on Jesus. And that is dangerous because when I'm obsessed with my faith or my practices and the results that I'm getting, I'm not looking at the Lord Jesus. I'm, I'm not resting in his sovereignty. I'm not surrendered. I don't let myself belong to him. And the scripture says that we were bought at a price. We, we do not belong to ourselves any longer. Micah says, among other things, when we, we ask what the Lord requires of us, you know, loving justice, loving mercy, and walking humbly with our God. And Jesus says to his disciples, if anyone wants to come after me, let him deny himself daily, take up his cross and follow me. Walking with the master is not about watching ourselves get elevated or stepping into some kind of authority that, that we have left unused. It's about surrender. It's about submission. It's about no longer belonging to myself or my rights or anything. We can rest in the sovereignty of God. We can surrender our desires, our wills, everything about us, because that's what Lord means. And he is the Lord. He is the king of our lives. And he didn't come here to make us little gods or little princes or anything. Now, that's not to say that we shouldn't pray and try to do good things in this world because we can. And I believe that God's sovereignty is influenced by us. And in some way, he allows us to influence that. That's another topic for another day as well. But friends, if you in your faith journey are finding that you are spending too much time focusing on yourself and what you are doing or practicing or believing, you may be in danger of not walking with God. And of that, we should all repent because that's, that's the great danger and the great sin for all of us is to continually turn inward. So let's repent from that. Let's take steps to go back, surrender to Jesus, take up our cross daily and follow him. That is where true faith lies. And that, friends, is the cornerstone of the Christian gospel. So friends, walk in the light of Jesus today and be the light to the world around you.